Hey, this is Mass X with a new Bleach Immortal Soul video. I was just gonna put together my World Championship recap, kind of show you the final teams I used. Um, those teams were not beaten. beaten. Um, uh, Kreiser got 3 4 against it once. Rob, I don't think, tried. Um, Honda got 3-4 one time against it. But that was about it. Everybody else was usually going 0-7, um, 1-6, um, and 2-5 uh, 99.9% .9 of the time. But let me go ahead and show these teams off. You know, um, I can tell you which ones were definitely better than others team number seven as you can see I, I kept moving it around the entire two weeks i'm trying to come up with a um, type of sniper slash assassin team and the front line is definitely not a keeper um, because you have to kind of cannibalize yourself in world championships because you have to have seven teams it's hard to structure everybody exactly how you would like it but i was worried because i had never really tested this team so i had moved christmas christmas or Hime with it um to help keep them alive and they they seem to do really good um with people attacking them but in all honesty i'd keep that back line the same and i would probably adjust the front line <clears throat> probably either go with uh some shield based defense maybe keep summer matsumoto because she actually worked really well um but probably wouldn't keep the other two but they were quite efficient and i don't think they took any losses from what i remember team six is one of my favorite teams and i moved butterfly eyes into the front line on this one and put yamamoto in the back line so i have three rage reducers along the back line um and then i've got a shield front line with butterfly eisen out front now he wouldn't be my my favorite character to be on the front line but in this team he works really well being front line so what happens is you get yamamoto hitting then you get summertime gein hitting then from summertime gein he powers up Butterfly Aizen, who then hits, and then Shinji finishes off that first round. And they usually do a lot of damage. They're taking Rage away, of course. They're rebuilding themselves up. It, it, it was a team that I really like, and I find that moving Butterfly Aizen to the front and putting Yamamoto in the back line really made it pretty hard to beat just a solid team all around i really like if you want to have some fun with a team if you have these characters my team five was my zangetsu team you've seen it before I, i've run it pretty much pretty similar to what you've seen for quite some time um you know i'm pretty much put Maori back into the front line um, and taken out a healer in hopes um that they can do enough and don't need any healing um, because you know you're getting that first round and your Toshiro's hitting first round, White's hitting first round, and Tenza Zangetsu's hitting first round, um, and then you get the follow-up round two usually with Yuki, Maori, and Christmas Rukia, and then um, if you're lucky, round three you're getting that same front line hitting again it's it's pretty brutal um i've seen lots of people with different un incarnations of this team setup i really like it i continue to work with it but it's a solid team to play with team four um is my standard uh nell bleed team i usually keep biakia in the back line instead of anniversary eyes in but on the last day, I went ahead and went with a little bit more offense. So hoping to win either in round two. And if I don't win, the hope is you've decimated that team pretty significantly. 
I really like um, Unahana on this team because you know with 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 uh, Stark and Nell um, and even Anniversary Eisen, they're generally not hitting first round. Um, I don't set them up to even attempt that, so it's always a round two team to hit. And so having uh, Unahana on that front line, one or two things happens. She may die. Generally, she doesn't because I don't keep mine weak. She's fully leveled up. Um, but if she happens to, it's keeping you guys safe to hit in round two and you get that extra boost. If she stays alive, she's usually um, going ahead and triggering before they do. So you know everybody's going to go off because you get that rage from her um, after she rages. So it's really become effective. And, you know, you throw Anniversary Eisen in there, and he's just he's just finishing off the job for you at the end. Team 3 is just a juggernaut. You know, Anniversary Eisen used to be where Biakua is um, in this team. I switched them out because I can still take get some use out of the bleed. Um, the front line now really is solidified by putting in the new SSR Renji in there. Um, he just works really good with this team, as well as, of course, um, Anniversary Ichigo. And that front line holds really well, plus you're getting that rage from Anniversary Ichigo. Um, you, you get some good effects with the new SSR Renji, and he, and he just holds his own. Just a, a really good SSR character. And, of course, the back line. You know, you're hitting right out of the gate with Vasta Lorde. Um, and the other Ichigo. And then Byakuya, he's usually going off round two, especially with Anniversary Ichigo on this team. Just just really worked solidly. was really happy with how they performed when I switched this out. Team two and one were really my hodgepodge teams. You know, when I go into that last day, I'm looking to have five teams that I think are unbeatable or close to. With that goal in mind, knowing, okay, somebody might get lucky and get one of them, especially if it's their Christmas Orihime's on that team, and they don't face off against my Orihime team. So I know, okay, you might lose one of those, and then these two are your throwaways, but these throwaways actually did really well. Um, as you can see, I went with, uh, you know, the po a Poison front line with Zaz. In Baragon, both of them in the front line because you get the SSR is 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 really a solid front line um, character. He really does well, and then the back lines just attackers straight across the board. You know, with the uh, original UR Grimjaw and Kenny, and of course the original Eisen. Get a little disorient out of him, maybe helps you out to hang in there, but it turned out okay. And then of course running. Baragon Soul Hall helps too to, to, to keep that defense up and protect everybody. The last team was more of a hodgepodge of my female team. If you've um, seen or played against me in Worlds, I always, the first um, week and a half, always have an all-female team because I actually just love them. And, but usually on the last day, um, Marrying on who I have to switch out and the fact that I was trying to go for that little sniper team um, I had to dismantle it partially So I had to go ahead and, and throw in two male characters into that And I just put the Grimjaw in there so I could at least get a soul hall to help protect them But you know, and I'm going to do a feature video on SSR Now she's just a solid, solid, solid SSR character I mean, everybody, if, if you've got that Hollabell SSR, you know how great she is, but her and Nell are just two amazingly great SSRs that there is no reason not to use them, and they hold their, their own against some of the best characters out there. I hope everybody had a good time playing it. Just wanted to show you those last teams I had. Um, it really stinks that once Worlds closes, you can't record anymore. You can't pull up all the different... Um, war souls that were being used by everybody it's it's really actually stinks I, I really wish they would change that so you could kind of feature everything and i could really delve into some of the other teams and the better characters but again 
As always, my hats have to go off to Chrysler. He does such a good job. Always trying so hard. Always coming up with original stuff. It was nice to see Rob back around. He does more with less than probably anybody I see in this game. He just has a knack at, at, at making things work sometimes. Um, and Honda, too. Um, he was a little behind these guys this time. Um, Rob, in particular, he was just killing it that first week, week and a half. And Kreiser, um, you know, he was the first to take down that original team. But again, I only had those three that were able to even get past that first team. I was really hoping I had a lot of people that were close. And I didn't touch that team in hopes. I really wanted to see multiple people beat it because I knew that there was a couple out there that could. And they got really close. I just didn't make the right adjustments. With that, I hope you really enjoyed World Championships. I always find it fun. I love to experiment in it. I hope you do too. Hope you're enjoying the game and having a good week. Like and subscribe, as always. Thanks again.